hello everyone today we are going to start the first story from treasure trove a collection of poems and stories this is first story according to our tt1 chapter the title of this story is chief seattle's speech so before starting the story we should know who was chief seattle chief seattle was a native american chief a member of the shukamis tribe tribe means uh, before those days people used to live in a tribe on the basis of language or on the basis of their color of the skin so he was a member of the shukamis tribe and a prominent figure among his people who pursued a path of accommodation and reconciliation with white settlers the following is a widely publicized speech attributed to chief seattle in which he argues with gentle irony in favor of ecological responsibility and respect of native americans beliefs traditions and land rights although what he actually shared may have been lost through translation and rewriting the speech or letter attributed to chief seattle has been widely cited as a powerful bittersweet plea for respect of native american rights and environmental values the city of seattle in the state of washington in the usa is named after him so you have understood now that chief seattle was the main person of shukamis tribe in america actually in america the people who used to live there they were called red indians but later the people from europe and from africa had gone to america to live and then some fight had been started among them to live there so this is the story based on some facts of that time but we study this story because seattle was the first person who was concerned about the environment those days and he put forward so many good things american before american those days so let's start to understand more the story yonder sky that has wet tears of compassion upon my people for centuries and told actually whatever the new words may be for you i have written those words in brackets with yellow color so that it will be easy for you to understand the chapter well here that side is sky that has wept tears of sympathy 
for my people for centuries untold and which to us appears changeless and eternal means which to us us means to him to chief theater appears changeless and endless me change today's fear he is saying today's fear fear here has been used for the weather tomorrow it may be overcast with clouds means tomorrow the season may change my words are like the stars that never change but he is saying that my words are like the stars in the sky that never change whatever seattle says the great chief at washington can rely upon with us here great chief has been used for americans washington as we know that is a state of america so he is saying whatever seattle says the great chief great chief means the <coughs> president at washington can believe can count with as much certainty as he can upon the return of the sun or the season as the sun rises daily the season falls same the words of chief seattle may be count on the white chief says here white chiefs means that president so the white chief says that big chief at washington sends actually this speech was published in the newspaper in the newspaper we use present indefinite tense in title as well as in language but to understand better we should understand the condition of that time here is written sense but it should be sent so the white chief says that big chief at washington sent us greetings of friendship and goodwill here chief seattle is saying that the white chief says that white chief is the governor and big chief is the president at washington so the white chief says the governor says that big chief means the president at washington sent us greetings of friendship and favor this is kind of him for we this is kind of him that is a kindness of him because we are the people of a small tribe but they have sent us greetings of friendship and favor this is kind of him for we he has little need of our friends have been written but he is saying that he has sent us greetings of friendship because he has a little need of our friends have been written he wants something in written am for this uh, friendship his people are many means their population is a lot they are like the grass that covers vast prairies prairies means you have studied in geography 
a treeless grassy plain so they are like the grass that covers vast prairies means their population is enough my people are few but our population is not enough they resemble or they appear like the scattering trees of a storm swept plain means after a storm in a plain or in a plain area the scattering trees look like this the great and i the great here the great means before some time we have discussed this big chief big chief means president so the great and i presume good white chief sends means sent white chief sent us word that he wishes to buy our land but is willing to allow us enough to live comfortably so here is being said that white chief the president of america sent us word word means message that he wishes he has such a wish that he wants to buy our land but is willing to allow us enough to live comfortably he is saying there is no problem i am buying your land but you will be allowed here to live comfortably this indeed appears just even generous for because the red man no longer has rights that he need respect and the offer may be wise also as we are no longer in need of an extensive country so he is saying that this offer is good first he is buying our land that's good and the second thing that we don't need to buy place to live and third thing he is saying that because the red man no longer has rights that he need respect and the offer may be wise actually these people have red color so that's why means their their skin's color was red and the people of america who were living that time who had come from europe their color was fair so those people are called white people in this chapter and these americans are called red indians or red men so he is saying that may be wise there was a time when our people covered the land as the waves of a wind ruffled sea covered its self paved floor he is saying that was a time we had a time that we had so many people our population was big but that time long since passed away but now that time has gone away with the greatness of tribes that are now but a mournful memory that that time has passed away that time has gone away with the greatness of tribes that are now but a mournful sad memory means we have only sad memory of that time try to understand here chief seetal a member or we can say the chief the main person of his tribe is making a speech and he is saying about his tribe trying to explain to his tribes people that what the president of washington 
of or America wants from us and why it is good for us. He is trying to make people understand it. I will not dwell on means I will not live on nor mourn over and nor he wants to be shared our timely decay he is saying our untimely decay means we are going to vanished before time nor reproach my pale face brothers with hastening it and he is saying that I will ne- not reproach I will not reproach my pale face pale face brothers means poor fellow with hastening it means in any quickness as B2 may have been somewhat to blame he is saying that there can be some blame to us also youth is impulsive he is saying that youth is impulsive youth is impulsive means the time of youth or people who are young are impulsive means they may be aggressive youth is impulsive means young people are aggressive when our young men grow angry when our young men get angry at some real or imaginary wrong any good or bad thing on any good or bad thing and disfigure their faces with black paint means their face their face become black it denotes that their hearts are black but it looks like their hearts are black and that they are often cruel and relentless means it is admitted that they are cruel they are harsh and our old men and old women are unable to restrain them means our old men and old women means the oldest persons of the family are unable to detain them to control them thus it has ever been it has ever been thus it was when the white men begin to pose our forefathers ever westward actually before some years these americans have opposed his forefathers to best ward means towards the west but let us hope that the hostilities between us may never return now he is thinking he presumes that let's hope that that fighting shouldn't be again among them we would have everything to lose and nothing to gain he is saying that we are in losing position we have nothing to gain revenge by young men is considered gain means our young men consider that to take revenge is a gain even at the cost of their own lives means they may die for taking revenge but old men who stay at home in times of war and mothers who have sons to lose no better but their grandparents no better that's not good thing who will look after their grandparents
our good father in washington here good father means president of washington our good father in washington for for is used for the sense of because because i presume i admits he is now our father he is saying this that the president of washington is the president of us now he is uh, admitting it i presume he is now our father our father means our guardian our president our well wisher as well as yours as well as yours means our and yours means the people of tribe since king yours has moved his boundaries further north because king yours now that is the name of that person has moved his boundaries further north towards north our great and good father great and good father means the president i say sends sends means sent i say sent us word word means message that if we do as he desires he will protect us so this is the message that whatever the president is saying if we do according to his desires according to his will then he will protect us his brave warriors means his army will be to us a wrestling wall of strength a tough wall of strength and his wonderful ships of war will fill our harbors means at our place or in our area in our ports his wonderful ships of war will fill so that our ancient enemies far to the northward the hadas and simisans these two things the hadas and simisans these are the names of other tribes who used to live towards north side of america so chief settle is saying that the hadas and simisans will seize means will stop to frighten our women children and old men actually these tribes used to create problem for their family so he is saying if we agree with this message of the president of america of washington then definitely his army will help us so that other tribes people means tribes of hadas and simsins will stop to frighten our women children and old men then in really he will be our father he is saying then definitely he will be our father our guardian and we is children and we will be his children we will be his hello men what can that ever be now he is asking can it happen your god is not our god he is saying your god is not our god your god loves your people and hates mine he is saying your god loves your people what hates mine my people he folds his strong protecting arms lovingly he folds his strong protecting arms lovingly about the pale face and leads him by the hand as a father leads an infant son means your father or your god protect your people but he doesn't protect my people but he has forsaken his red children means your god has rejected has forsaken forsaken 
his red children red children means this tribe's people if they really are his means if your god our ash our god the great spirit he is saying that the god of us are the great spirit great soul seems also to have forsaken us he is saying that there is no matter your god has forsaken us but it seems that our god our great spirit seems means looks like the to have forsaken us your god makes your people wax stronger every day means your god makes your people stronger every day polished quality soon they will fill all the land and very soon they will fill all the land they will come to live here our people are having a way like a rapidly receding tide that will never return he is saying our people means our population is fading away decaying like a rapidly receding or rapidly declining tide means if you see in any sea that any tide comes and goes back so he is saying like rapidly receding tide that will never return that will never come again the white man's god white man's here i told the people who had come from europe and now they are in america their color is white so here he is saying the white man's god cannot love our people or he would protect them they seems to be orphans who can look now no way of for help he is saying that our people seem to be orphans orphans means they have no guardian who can look no way of for help where they should look for help they can look no way of for help now then can we we brothers he is asking the question like this can be we brothers how can your god become our god and renew our prosperity and awaken in us dreams of returning greatness he is asking again that how can your god become our god and renew our prosperity that they can bring the prosperity and fulfill our dreams as well if we have a common heavenly father he must be partial he is saying if our god and your god are same then he should be one sided as he is helping white men then he should help to red men also so he is saying that the our god should be one sided should be partial for he came to his pale face children for this he should come his poor fellow children we never saw him but <clears throat> i never saw him here he gave you laws but had no word for his red children means he he had made you laws you for you there is a law but there um, there is no any law for us for red people whose teeming multitudes once filled this vast continent as stars fill the firmament he is saying whose packed masses means uh, too much population once filled this vast continent means in this place they will start living as stars fill the sky he is saying as stars the stars fill in the sky no 
we are two distinct races with separate origins and separate destinies he is saying no 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 it cannot happen that your god can be our god we are two separate races with separate origins and separate fortunes fates luck there is little in common between us he is saying but there is little in common between us to us the ashes ruins of our ancestors are sacred he is saying for us the ruins of our forefathers are very holy very pious and their resting place is hallowed ground and he is saying that the resting place resting place where he had died means their forefather had died is blessed ground blessed ground means the place where they are living you wander far from the grave of your ancestors and seemingly without regret he is saying that we can't be same because our forefathers are important for us even the place where they have been buried after the, their death that place is blessed place for us but you roam you wander you go away far from the graves of your forefathers and seemingly without regret it looks like you have no any kind of repentance for that your religion was written upon tablets of stone by the iron finger of your god means he is saying that your religion has been written on a solid place so that you could not forget which you cannot forget the red men red men means the people of this tribe the red men could never comprehend or remember it but he is saying that the people of my tribe can never figure out or remember it means his religion our religion is the tradition of our ancestors he is saying the traditions which we follow of our forefathers is our religion the dreams of our old men given them in some hours of the night by the great spirit he is saying that whatever whatever our forefathers great spirit means great soul of their forefathers have given effective hours of the nights in the night and the visions of the of our sachims and is written in the hearts of our people that we don't have such type of uh, religion which we have written somewhere but there is a tradition in our hearts people can never forget it your dad ceased to love you your forefathers stopped to love you and the land of their nativity as soon as they passed the portals of the tomb and wander away beyond the stars here chief settle is saying that your forefathers stopped to love you and the land of their birth as soon as they die the portals of tomb and wander away beyond the stars and move away from there for that place they are soon forgotten and never return means you can forget your forefathers our dead our forefathers never forget this beautiful world that gave them being he is saying chief settle is saying that where our forefathers 
lived their life they can never forget this beautiful world they still love its verdant valleys its murmuring rivers its magnificent mountains sequestered vales and verdant land lakes and waves and ever yearn to tender fond affection over the lonely hearted living and often return from the happy hunting ground to visit guide console and comfort them chief settle is saying that our forefathers still love its green valleys crooning rivers crooning mines murmuring muttering singing softly rivers its splendid mountains isolated vales and green lined lakes and waves and ever desire in tender fond fond means love or affection over the lonely hearted living means people who used to live here and often return from the happy hunting they used to come back after hunting ground to visit guide console and comfort them means this place was good for them to live here day and night cannot dwell together day and night cannot live together cannot fall together the red man has ever fled the approach of the white man means our tribe people have escaped absconded the approach of the white man they have never approached to white man as the morning mist flees before the morning sun he is saying as morning fog morning smog flees means disappears before the morning sun however your proposition seems fair and i think that my people will accept it and will retire to the reservation you offer them he is saying that your proposal looks like fair and i think that my tribes people will accept it and will retire means they will not accept to the reservation you offer them then we will dwell dwell means live apart in peace you live peacefully and we live peacefully apart from each other for the words of the great white chief seem to be the words of nature speaking to my people out of dense darkness he is saying that the message which had been given by great white chief the president of our country looks like these words or this message has been given from the nature itself to my people out of dense darkness means be see here dense darkness or our future is uh, dark but it can be good after this message it matters little where we pass the remnant of our days it matters little where we pass the rest of our days means rest time of our life they will not be many means our days are not many the indian's night promises to be dark indian's night promises to be dark not a single star of hope hovers above his horizon we have no hope now sad voiced winds moan in the distance means up to far distance we can listen only 
said voice grim feet seems to be on the red man's trail he is saying uninviting feet feet means luck uninviting luck looks like to be on the red man's trail means means that fate is taking trial of our people and wherever he will hear the approaching footsteps of his fell destroyer and prepare stolidity to meet his doom he is saying that wherever he will hear wherever he will listen the approaching footsteps means that someone is coming of his fell destroyers and prepare his tolerance to meet his doom means that something is coming to change his fate to change his luck as those the wounded do that hears the approaching footsteps of the hunter those you know you know dear those or do is the feminine gender of dear so as those the wounded do means injured do that hears the approaching footsteps of the hunter starts frightening a few more moons he is saying there are some more days we are to live a few more winters there are some more seasons we have to live and not one of the descendants of the mighty hosts that once moved over this broad land or lived in happy homes protected by the great spirit so here is saying that and not one of the of spring of spring means children of the mighty host means the people who are powerful that once moved over this broad land means they will come here to live or lived in happy homes protected by the great spirit means they will be protected by our great souls by our uh, forefathers will remain to mourn over the graves of a people once more powerful and hopeful than yours will remain to mourn over but they will be shed over the graves of people once more powerful and hopeful than yours they are more powerful and they have more hope than yours but why should i mourn at the untimely fate of my people he is saying why should i why should i be sad why should i become sad at the untimely fate means before time we have this bad luck tribe follows tribe and nation follows nation like the waves of the sea he is comparing it is the order of nature he is saying this is the message of nature and regret is useless we should not uh, regret it is useless it is in men your time of decay may be distant he is saying that your time of dying may be far but it will surely come but you will have to die for even the white man whose god walked and talked with him as friend to friend means even the god a white man who used to walked or talked with him like friend cannot be exempted from the common destiny means he also will die we may be brothers after all but he is saying okay no problem we'll see that we will become brothers if you are saying we will ponder your proposition he is saying that we will think about 
we will consider your proposal and when we decide we will let you know means when we will decide we will tell you that what are our decision we should but should be accepted this is a rule of grammar should is used as if should be accept means if we accept it if we accept it i here and now make this condition that we will not be denied the privilege without molestation of visiting at any time the tombs of our ancestors friends and children he is saying if we accept your proposal then he wants to make it clear that they shouldn't be denied the honor without harassment of visiting at any time of time the tombs of their forefathers friends and children means they may come here and stay here any time they shouldn't be stopped every part of this soul is sacred in the estimation of my people he is saying that this soul is very holy for them if this soil is very holy every hillside every valley every plain and grove grove means orchard so every valley every plain every orchard has been hollowed means blessed by some sad or happy event in days long banished he is saying that happy or sad the days which they have they have passed away from here they have been disappeared even the rocks which seems to be thrill with memories of seeing thrilling events cannot events connected with the lives of my people he is saying that thrilling events connected with the lives of my people they have become memories of thrilling and the very dust upon which you now stand the place the dust means the place where you stand now responds reply more lovingly to their footsteps than yours means that that is replying itself that place is replying itself because it is rich with the blood of our ancestors and our bare feet are conscious of the sympathetic touch he is saying this place is rich with the blood of our forefathers our departed braves he has he is saying our departed braves sometimes he has said dead people sometimes he has said um, ancestors forefathers here he is saying our departed braves means departed means who has gone away who has died braves fond mothers means loving mothers glad happy hearted maidens means glad and happy girls and even the little children who lived here had rejoiced here for a brief season means they enjoyed here living we love these summer dark or dull summer means solitude and at even tide they greet sadoi returning spirits he is saying that everyone who used to live here in this dark or lonely less place at dusk dusk means evening time they greet mysterious returning spirits they greet they love and when the last red man means last person of this tribe shall have perished perished means die 
and the memory of my tribe shall have become a myth means he is saying that our tribe will be no more so there will be only memory so the memory of my tribe shall have become a myth a myth means a fairy tale among the white men means among you all these swords will shone with the invisible dead of my tribe he is showing that he is hinting that these swords will shone with the invisible will not be looked of my dead means the people who have been died of my tribe and when your children's children he is saying from the next to next word that when your children's children think themselves alone in the field he is saying that our tribe will be no more and your children's ch children will start living at this place and if they think themselves alone in the field if they find themselves alone in the field the store the shop upon the highway or in the silence of the pathless woods they will not be alone he is saying that they will not be alone because our tribe will be no more that time but the spirit the soul of our people will be here somewhere in all the earth there is no place dedicated to solitude he is saying in all the earth means any place of the earth there is no place which is such dedicated to solitude at night when the streets of your cities and blazes are silent and you think them deserted uninhabited it means such place where no one lives they will throng with the returning hosts that once filled them and still love this beautiful land the white man will never be alone he is saying that your people will never be alone our spirits will be somewhere here in the last he is saying let him be just and deal kindly with my people he is saying okay i accept a proposal but my people should be treated lovingly because the dead are not powerless he is saying the dead people are also powerful dead did i say now he emphasized on his own words that dead did i say there is no death only a change of words he is saying that death means only change of words change of words means from one word you comes and goes to another words only this is the death according to chief seater so this was the a story <clears throat> now have you understood i hope you have understood that who was chief seatel from where used to belong why should we study this paragraph for this story why it is so important if you have understood then definitely you should start writing the answers of the volume 2 of workbook volume 2 and tomorrow i will give you answers of unsolved passages of volume 2 if you have understood well the story then you will be able to write the answers well okay so see you soon bye